Can you give me a breakdown on the labour and the materials on this quote, please? Now, this is a common question when you've sent a quote or a bid. Uh, and I was reminded the other day when Tim, who's one of our members, posted about it in our uh, private members group. Now, Tim owns uh, an electrical business. He's a Sparky and he's been running it for 10 years. And he's got a pretty well-run business, but this question, it really wound him up and he wasn't sure how to deal with it. And I'm sure you've had a similar question and you've probably been frustrated about it uh, as well. So Tim told me he was tempted to actually break the price down because he didn't want to look shifty or dishonest or like he was trying to rip the customer off. He had kind of felt you know, like he needed to do it. But on the other hand, he knew that when customers ask this question, it almost always leads him down the path where the customer is actually questioning the price and trying to beat him down, trying to get him to sharpen his pencil. So Tim was, he was really frustrated. And he told me about how he felt you know, unappreciated for the good work that he does and, and that people just were worried about price. He also felt that you know, people don't realize how much uh, training, effort, equipment, time and expertise it goes into even putting a price together and doing a job uh, for a smaller job. So here's what I told him to say and, and you might want to try it as well. No problem, we have a $150 administration fee for giving you an itemized breakdown on your quote or your bid. The admin fee is payable prior to sending the itemized quote. Would you like us to go ahead? Now on the odd occasion you get some people who accept this and say yes and obviously that's no problem. But most of the time they'll say no thanks and they'll go and price shop someone else. They'll go and look for another quote or a bid that's cheaper. And this is actually the result you want. It's a perfect result because those customers, they're not your customer. And here's why. Now, every decision in business has, it's got an opportunity cost. So Tim could have spent his valuable time and energy, you know, breaking down that price, haggling over the details and negotiating with the customer. Most likely outcome is he'd lose the job anyway. Or he could have spent that time on marketing for better customers, training his team, putting systems and processes in place, or spending time with his family and friends just having some fun. Now, which one? would you prefer? And the moral of the story really is this, not every customer is your customer. And there are always people in this world who expect you to do a job for nothing, who just have no idea of value and what it costs to provide a good service. So you just want to move on and focus on the customers who actually value what you do. Now, I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments if you agree or you don't agree. <laughs>